Hello everyone. Happy Sunday to you. It's another um, Sunday morning, July 19th, as we have our Youth Sunday School lesson for our middle school and high schoolers. So let us pray as we get started with our lesson today. Lord, thank you. God, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace this day. God, thank you for waking us up another day to experience um, your love and your presence in our lives. God, we pray that you are continually with us. You will lead and guide us um, uh, every day, Lord. God, we pray that this message, this lesson will inspire all of us as Christians to keep living for you, keep trusting you um, in these times and the seasons that we're living in. We trust you, Lord. Thank you, God. And uh, we pray for um, our families and friends. Um, give us hope. Give us trust in you. And um, let us uh, be inspired to, to do your will and to live out your plan for our lives. We love you. We honor you. Hear our prayer this day. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Well, as you all know, uh, over the last couple of weeks, we have been talking about hope in Sunday school. And so today we're going to continue on the topic of hope. We're going to be um, talking about how the hope that God has given us, how we can help someone else, how our hope can point others to God. As you all know, as we know that um, God has given us hope as believers um, and that we have it within us, but God has called us to activate that hope, activate it for ourselves, but also activate it for others. So I want to ask you, um, you might have a friend or a family member that is hopeless and can need, can need some help and maybe needs um, some, some, um, some help with their faith and doesn't have faith like you. How can you help them in the hope that God has given you? How can your hope be contagious? How can it filter, continue to uh, filter amongst people and um, give other people hope and it, it continue on and on from the hope you give someone and then they give someone hope? How can your hope inspire someone and point them to God, to the God that you know that gives you that hope? Well, I want to remind us what the word hope means. We talked about this a couple weeks ago. Hope is a positive word. It is a feeling of expectation of something good and positive that's coming to, that will happen. A sense of confidence in what God has done in the past and has promised will happen in the future. God is faithful and God is our hope. We can have all hope in God. So hope is a positive word. It's a feeling of expectation. It's a feeling that something good and positive is going to happen. It's a sense of confidence of what God says he will do, he will do, and promises he will do. So I know this is a tough time that we're living in, um, and this is the most, the, the most critical time that we need hope that we need to find um, and activate that hope in God. So there's three things that we can do to help point others to God, to point, point others to the hope that we have in God. Um, the first one is, is that we have to recognize where our hope comes from. We need to recognize where our hope comes from. And then number two, we need to live out hope in front of others. And then the last one is we are to tell someone about the hope in God. So we are to recognize, we are to live out, and then we are to tell about the hope that we have in God. So first, we are to recognize where our hope comes from. We have to acknowledge, y'all, who our, who our hope is in. We have to go back and give God the credit for the hope that he's given us. Y'all, our hope is not about us. It's about God. And he's given us that hope. We can't have hope on our own. So we have to recognize and acknowledge um, and give credit to God who gives us hope and gives us that strength. It's only the Lord. And when we recognize that and recognize it's not about us and not in our own selves, that's when we can begin helping others. Psalm 62 uh, five tells us, my soul finds rest in God. 
my hope comes from him. So read that scripture and that's where you're recognizing who your hope is from. My soul finds rest in God. My hope comes from him. So we are to first recognize where our hope comes from, acknowledge it, and give God credit for the hope that he's given us. Number two, we are to live out the hope that God has given us in front of others. We can't, once we acknowledge where our hope comes from, we can't help but begin living it out. Y'all have to know that positive thinking leads to believing and trusting. Remember I said that hope is a sense of confidence. It's something positive and good that we know is going to happen. Well, that's what this is saying, that our positive thinking, our confidence in God leads to believing and trusting. So we have to begin living it out in our lives day to day. So a couple of things that we can do. Number one, we can um, think about who we're around. Who are we around that's um, either bringing positive vibes to our lives or negative vibes. So we live out what's around us. So if you're around a lot of negativity, then most likely you're not going to be positive. So we got to be around people who are positive and who um, have hope. Um, uh, and that will help us live it out even better. Um, we uh, can't be complaining all the time and always thinking the worst and thinking um, what's going to happen bad. Negative um, Negativity leads um, to worry and anxiety. Um, as I was saying, we got to have that positive thinking that leads us to trusting and believing. So we ought to take a hold of uh, that complaining and turn it into negative, uh, t turn it into positive thoughts. Negative um, thoughts lead uh, to worry and anxiety. We are to remember who God is and what he's done in the past. And that helps us live out this hope day to day, not complaining, not worrying, remembering by faith what God has done before, being around positive and, and hopeful people that will help us live out the hope he's called us to have. And then we are to give back. We are to serve. When you give back to someone else, when you are give, serving them, that's living out your hope in front of someone so that they can have hope as well. Romans 15, 13 reminds us, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of of the Holy Spirit. That's living out hope. May the God of hope fill you with joy. When you have hope, you have joy and peace as you trust him so that you may overflow, live out with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. So first we are to recognize where our hope comes from and then we are to live it out, live out that hope in front of others. The last one is we are to tell someone about the hope in God. Y'all, we can't keep this hope that, that we have got, that we've received from God to ourselves. It is not just for us to have. God has desired all of us to experience hope. He wants the, all of humanity, all of his creation to experience hope. So it's not just for us, it's for everybody. So we can't keep it to ourselves. So number one, if you've acknowledged and recognized who your hope is in, and then you begin living it out, the joy um, that God has given you in your daily life, then telling someone about your hope will not be a problem. So we are to tell someone about the hope that we have in God and continue to live out um, what he's called us to, to, um, to be in recognizing um, who he is and what he's done for us, living it out and then telling someone. Second Corinthians 3 and 12 says, since we have such hope, we are very bold. Since we have such hope, we are very bold. So we are to be bold in telling people about our hope in God. 
We are to um, not be afraid and have that courage to stand and say, my hope comes from God. I know things are going to work out because of God. I know um, that all things work together, even in the midst of what's going on, are going to are going to work out because God is faithful. So we are to be bold in our witness and sharing and telling people about the hope that God has given us and not keeping it to ourselves. The last verse I want to lift up comes from Psalm 71, 15 about hope. And it says, for you, O Lord, my hope, my trust, O Lord, is from my youth. For, for, for you, O Lord, my hope and my trust, O Lord, from my youth. I wanted to read that because I wanted all of those, all of us, you, all the youth that are on here, I want you to begin knowing that you can live out hope. You can live out recognizing where your hope comes from um, and begin telling people about the hope in God right now. You don't have to wait until you're older um, God has given you hope and you are to use it now. So begin um, living it out and recognizing who gave it to you and telling people about it right now, even at 12, 13, 16, 18. Do that now because the more that if you're starting it now in your youth, there's going to be more people that God's going to allow you to touch in your lifetime with the hope that you have. So remember that God has people for you to, to share this with. And so begin living it out now. And then also as a young person, I want you to know that you can be peaceful and have positive thoughts and have more faith and not worry in your life by um, living out your hope in God right now. Don't wait. Do it now because you'll have less worry, less anxiety, and more faith in God and more peace um, and more positive, uh, positive mindset in your life to come. So remember, this, this uh, lesson is about how we point others, our hope to, to others, to God, our hope in God to others. Number one, recognizing who gives us that hope and that is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Number two, we are to um, live out the hope God has called us in our, in our joy, um, how, we, how we live, how, we, how positive we are, not complaining, um, serving others. And then we are to um, tell someone about the hope in Jesus and not keep it to our health, ourselves. Y'all, hope is our medicine. Hope is our medicine to get through this season, this tough time that we're in. So whatever you're going through right now, worried about school, worried about seeing your friends, worried about um, graduating, whatever that looks like, remember God is faithful. He hears your prayers. His promises are real and he will see us through. So make sure that hope is your medicine and that, um, that you are to hope in God that he's going to give you everything that you need to get through what, what we're going through right now. Amen. So stay hopeful in God. Keep recognizing and acknowledging the strength you have in God. Keep living it out by being positive and not complaining and keep um, telling people about your hope in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us pray and thank God for the hope that he's given us today. Lord, thank you for your hope. Thank you, God, for what you've given us inside of us to remind us that you are faithful and that you have great things ahead and not to be weary or worried or have anxiety about our future. God, be with all of us that hear this message today um, and let us hope in you and trust in you and know that um, you are in control. Um, and this, all of this will not last, but you last, God, and that our, our hope in you is what will keep us uh, moving forward in our lives. God, we thank you. Show us our purpose and the plan you have for us. Continue to use us um, to be lights in this world, dark world. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. We will see you guys on Wednesday for our youth um, weekly devotion, Wednesday devotion, and then Friday nights at 730 for our Zoom calls with our middle school and high schoolers. Have a blessed week.